everyone this is Hassan this is my math project they'll be talking about adverse variations and giving you some examples in the real life so let's start so while the direct variation describes a linear relationship between two variables the inverse variation describes another kind of relationships so for two kinds uh, for two qualities of uh, an inverse variation you'll notice that when one increase the other one decrease uh, so when I say that y varies inversely as x it's uh, you can say that y is inversely proportional to x and when y increase x decrease uh, as for the constant which is k you can say that k is x, uh, x equal to xy and unlike the direct variation which is uh, graphed by a straight line passing through the origin point the inverse variation is graphed by a curve so for, exa for example when you are traveling to a particular location and as your speed increase and we all know that speed is equal to distance over time uh, and you can notice that distance uh, is, direct, is in direct variation to speed and time is an inverse variation with the speed uh, so when your speed increase the time it takes to arrive at that location decrease and when you decrease the time uh, when you decrease the speed the time it will take uh, it will take you to arrive at that location increase so these quantities uh, speed and time are in an uh, inverse variation uh, so let's elaborate more so when I say that v, which is uh, speed, uh, equal to distance over time, so when I say that we have 10 kilometers in one hour, so the speed is equal to 10 kilometers per hour. Uh, now let's double the speed and see what will happen to the time. 20 is equal to 10 over time. What you will notice here is that the time is now half an hour. It's reduced to the half. As a result of doubling the speed uh, because time and speed are in an inverse variation so now let's do the opposite uh, let's double the time and you will notice that the speed is now reduced to half now it's five kilometers per hour it, it was originally 10 kilometers per hour now it's five because we doubled uh, the time which is inversely proportionate to speed uh, and as a result the speed is reduced to half to its half so there are many situations in our daily life that involve inverse variation or you can say indirect variation for example the number of days required to build a bridge is varying inversely with the number of workers so when i say that 30 workers take uh, five hours to finish the bridge how much will it take 20 workers to finish the bridge so what most of the people will do is multiply 20 by 5 over 30 which is 100 over 30 and they will end up with 3.3 hours which is totally wrong because when i reduce the number of workers it's logically that the time they will take is more than five hours so this way is totally wrong now we will use the l method which is a table within the same category 30 workers in five hours 20 workers in x hours now we will not multiply 20 by 5 over 30 we will multiply 5 by 30 over 20 that's why it's called the l method so it's 150 over 20 uh, and you will end up with 7 0.5 hours now it's it's more logic because it will take 2.5 more hours than the 30 workers uh, so it's now more logic and you will use the L method in an inverse variation uh, and you should avo avoid the X the X method uh, so that's for today I hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching